everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111. I hope you guys are doing well here with a Monday check-in. Just a reminder, if you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to Queen of Light 1111.com and you can book that there. And just as a reminder, um, that I am running a special on the Akashic Records reading. It's $15 off. The listed price so if you're seriously interested in taking part of that special advanced sale for March um, then email me and I will send you a link let's get started with the energies we're looking at divine feminine and masculine's overall energy they're crowning energy towards each other head heart and environment what is the theme of their connection their overall connective energy then how are masculine and feminine experiencing each other and then we're going to close it up with some guidance from ganesha gosh it's been a long time since i've used all of these decks i mean it's two four seven ten thirteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 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 one 21 different decks and so I can see I'm kind of glad I stopped doing it because by the time I was done pulling all these cards I was just exhausted and I just didn't even feel like channeling anything but I'm good I've grounded myself and I'm ready to go let's get started with overall energy for divine feminine bottom of the deck is the two of pentacles and the star so she is really in an energy of healing anything that isn't in balance in her life at this time that means any connection any energy that she may be exchanging with anyone and so anything that is not balanced she is in this place of healing she is in the place of correcting she is in the place of renewing okay so she does not want to have any more imbalance in her life so how does this show up in her overall energy look at this queen of swords king of swords this first and foremost feels like she is absolutely balancing her inner masculine and feminine energies she's in the energy of wisdom she's in the energy of logic she's in the energy of just cutting through and gaining clarity but i also feel like this is her divine masculine's energy i feel like there's this energy where you know what right now it's time to be logical it's about using our intuition it's about using our wisdom and that's what she's doing and so anywhere where there is imbalance in her own masculine and feminine energies and with her outer masculine with her divine masculine she is wanting to heal that imbalance any page energy that's like the thing right don't come to me with the page and with the fish in a cup so there is this energy of yeah if you're going to come to me with communication be the king of wands be this leader okay and there is this energy the divine feminine is holding page of swords and it's this energy of delay there is just like this observation energy and it's clarified by the moon so i do feel like she's observing her fears she's observing her shadows and she's healing those things okay and here we have the king of swords again divine masculine i just feel like there's this energy where it's time to move forward it's this energy of i'm done with the five of swords energy it's time to go into a place of peace because i'm just not going to have it anymore anything that is not serving me anything that is in, in not in balance needs to be healed or it needs to go okay it needs to be brought into balance or it needs to go divine masculine's overall energy it's so funny because like the minute she's like yeah anytime there's imbalance you gotta go here's masculine showing up as the emperor and sure enough in his crowning energy he shows up as the divine masculine so this is the thing you know what you want right divine feminine knows what she wants divine feminine is in the energy of i want balance and that's the energy that you've got to continue to put out there consistently because your energetic partner is picking this up and here's this energy ace of cups and the emperor and so he's in this energy of i'm filling my cup i'm loving myself and that's the way i get into my divine power energy that's the way i come into my divine masculine energy so how is this showing up in his connection well here he is trying to emotionally master himself so that there can be balance in the connection things have been suspended at this time with his high priestess so that he can take a look at things from his intuitive place in his place of his third eye and his crown not his ego mind and he's gaining the inner strength to move towards his divine feminine the empress and manifest 
a connection again, a reconnection. I also feel like there's, because of some of the cards that I've seen, you know, there is this energy of him being in his emotions, wanting to bring things into balance, but this suspension is so that he goes into his intuition, gains his power for Divine Feminine, because he's manifested some other cups, meaning, I don't know, this is Mercury Retrograde, right? So exes come back, karmics can come back, and if Divine Feminine has sniffed anything like that, she's like, no, nope, I've been there, I've done that with you been there, done that, not doing it again. So just I'm saying that whether it applies to you or not, but I'm saying it because I've seen some cards come out that lead me to believe that this retrograde has brought back some old energy. Okay. So now what is their crowning energy towards each other? Look at this serendipity, the tower and courtship. Serendipity is about this like free flowing energy. Things will happen when it's going to happen. There is this, I even love saying the word serendipity. It's this energy of go with the flow. If the universe brings it in, the universe is going to bring it in. And so what is the universe brought in? The tower moment. Because the courtship was being built on a faulty foundation again. Again again so this is the energy is flow with it because if something's not right the universe you allow the universe to come in and bring in a proper courtship so this is the crowning energy on their connection today so let's go ahead and see what is the crowning energy specifically for divine feminine as related to divine masculine so the first card out that we have for her is the distorted feminine this is the energy of you know feelings not quite being managed it's an energy of feeling a little bit out of control and it's clarified by the three of wands and the toil and labor card so what i'm really getting from this is divine feminine's like yeah I'm looking ahead at this serendipity, and when I was serendipitous, right, going with the flow, I brought in issues. I brought in the tower. So she's like, I am not interested in looking ahead and being this distorted feminine anymore. I've worked too hard. So when divine feminine is in her overall energy towards her masculine, she's like, yeah, I've worked too hard to bring in my divine feminine energy, my divine masculine and feminine inner energy. I'm, I've worked too hard. I'm not interested in bringing in a distorted energy. I've worked too hard at it. <laughs> so she's like yeah boundaries hard boundaries she's like i've worked too hard to go back now divine masculine his crowning energy towards his feminine look at this when feminine puts up the boundary he's like yeah not only is he the emperor at the bottom of the deck now he shows up as divine masculine and what he's saying here is his crowning energy towards feminine is uh divine feminine is not going to be open to my cup because she is too mature for that. So if he wants to go play around with other energies that are not of a divine feminine, he's welcome to do that. But he knows if he is to have his divine feminine and court her again, she's not taking the same old cup. He must come in divine. He's got the message loud and clear that divine feminine is not interested in a cup that is not divine theme for the head heart and environment for divine masculine and feminine for the divine feminine here we have archangel gabriel with challenging times this is i believe let me see i believe that's the five of wands energy i hate when they do that when they kind of rename stuff but hold on let me just make sure five of wands sorry guys Six, five. Oh, that's the pentacles Yes, five of wands is the um, is, is that energy there for her. So the energy, sorry, I pulled up the wrong one. I just want to confirm. So sorry. Let's see. Seeing the truth, the winner loses the swords. Yeah, five of wands. Okay. So this is the energy. Her her overall energy and her head, heart, and environment is that this communication between them right now is challenged. They are going through a challenging time. So maybe there has been no communication or very, very, 
you know, um, inconsistent communication between masculine and feminine. She is in the energy of, yeah, it's any communication right now is challenging. And, and perhaps this is divine feminine saying, yeah, I'm not really interested in talking to you right now, divine masculine. So, you know, what are you going to do? And so now with divine <laughs> masculine's energy, I think not what are you going to do? I mean, it is what it is. These are the energies that came out. And I will tell you, the energy that I'm getting from Divine Feminine is she is not having it. She is not having it. She is like, I've been there. I've been through this cycle. I'm not interested in the cycle. I smell this cycle a mile away and I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. And this is her in her full union of Queen of Swords, King of Swords. She's like, any imbalance, I'm cutting out, even if that means divine masculine. And divine masculine's like, I got it. I know I need to come to you with the divine offer, with the divine cup, because you're too mature and too smart to accept anything less and so here in his energy there's this communication look at this positive movement forward this is the eight of pentacles energy so this is the energy of he's really working hard to move things forward he wants to move things forward and he wants to communicate this he wants to communicate his desire to move things forward i mean he listen I get it. I get it from both sides, masculine and feminine sides. I have lots of divine masculine clients and I have tons of divine feminine clients. I get it from both sides. Listen, when you start to look at it from a higher perspective, you understand that these experiences are necessary because the lesson will repeat until the lesson is learned. But here's the thing. Divine feminine is like, I learned my lesson. I don't have any desire to repeat this lesson, but masculine had to repeat this lesson, hopefully this final time, to stay in this divine masculine power. Because she's like, I refuse to be distorted again. I refuse. And he's like, I refuse to give you distorted energy. I know you deserve the divine Head, heart, and environment, specifically for divine masculine and feminine, as related to each other, is the nine of wands, the moon, and the stalemate card for divine feminine. So this is an energy. She's wounded. This has felt like a long journey. And she does have fears. She does have fears. She does have illusions. There are energies that are unknown to her, but she refuses to compromise. She is in this energy. I'm not committing to anything that does not align with me. Okay? I mean... I'm telling you, man, if someone's put her foot in it, she's put her foot in it. She's like, I I'm not playing. I'm not playing around. And <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I'm like, wow, good for you. Now, divine masculine's energy. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Tornado. He's like, I want to make an offer. I understand this is a spiritual connection, but this is all blown up in my face now. This has been destroyed. The tower has come in. Yes, because masculine was putting in shady bricks. Sorry. I have to call it like I see it. You all know I am a huge fan of divine masculine. Huge Huge fan. So I don't want to hear any crap in the comments about, you know, like, oh, you're so hard on the masculine. Because frankly, I get comments about I'm too hard on the feminine. I mean, listen, people are never going to be satisfied. It is what it is. If you like what I'm saying, a great. If you don't, click off. So this is the energy where divine masculine is like, I want this new beginning. I know this is spiritual connection. I am trying to stand in my belief system and be morally and ethically correct, but this all blew up. It's over. It's over. So he is really in this energy of feeling like this connection is over because divine feminine, I feel like she's put her foot down before, but she's not put her foot down like this before. And she is not aching. She is not pining. She is not stuck. She's not in any of these energies. She's just like, okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's get into her headspace when she thinks about divine masculine. Look at this door to value. She goes, I know what my value is. I know what I am worth. And I am in this energy of, I know what seeds I've planted. And now if they sprout up, they sprout up. I know I planted good seeds. I know I am of value. And let's see what happens with this energy. So what is she further thinking when she thinks about divine masculine? What is she thinking? Remember, guys, I channel this all real time. So this is all real time channeling. I saw the cards and I was like, whoa, this is going to be interesting. But here you go. Page of Cups. She's like, mm -mm, Page of Cups. Nope. Where do we get Page of Cups? Right here. 
right here in her overall energy. Page of Cups, King of Wands. Page of Cups needs to come from a king, okay? If it's going to be a Page of Cups, it better come from a king. Page of Cups, right? So here's some communication, but it needs to come from a king. King of Pentacles. But here's the thing. It is... It is clarified by the clouds, doubt, thoughts, doubt, confusion, misunderstanding. So there is this energy that Divine Feminine's like, yeah, you know, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to ground this energy. I'm confused. I have doubts. She has doubts. Star, she has hope. She has hope for this, right? Remember the star card was the bottom of her deck here in her overall energy. She has hope. This connection is sacrificed this at this time. So she's trying to stay in her hope that we will come in to the same consciousness, that we will come into the same higher understanding. But at this time, Eight of Swords, this connection is stuck and it's clarified by the Eight of Swords, which means it's really stuck. And then we get the mountain, which means that we are in solitude. There is a barrier and there is a block in the connection. Okay, there's fears, the moon card. There are fears, there is illusion, there is this energy of the unknown with the king of wands because they're both estranged. They're in separation in the 3D. Remember, I say this all the time and I want to stop saying this, but if you understand this journey, you understand that separation is a 3D concept. You are always in union. Union is of energy because your souls are already in union. It is the 3D physical reality that is showing separation because this healing needs to occur. Okay? Now, what is divine masculine thinking when he thinks of his feminine? Look at this. Intuition. Archangel Uriel. This is the crown chakra. And when he looks at this four of cups crap energy, which he has right here, four of cups. He's just not happy with himself. He's very discontent. He's bored with the energy of the cycle. So when he is using his intuition, he knows that this is an energy that does not fit him. It does not fit his connection. It does not fit this energy of the spiritual connection. This is Archangel Uriel, all about intuition, all about spirit connections. So his spirit guides, his angels are showing him this cycle that he's been in, this cycle of this repetitive cycle. Oh, excuse me. You guys, like my hair is all up in a bun. Um, this repetitive, repetitive cycle that continues to keep up, come up over and over and over again. And it's time to stop. It's time to now like stop draining yourself emotionally and energetically, okay? It's time to close the door on that energy. So his intuition, his spirit guides are showing him this. So in his mind space for divine feminine, he's actually more in line with his intuition. And so he knows he needs to bring harmony. He needs to bring balance into this connection, right? He needs to you know, heal the stress from the past because I'm telling you, I feel like past energy people have come back and boom, and his headspace tower again. Things have crumbled. I need to stand as the emperor to get things going again. I have fears, moon and moon. I have fears. I have these illusions that I'm trying to cut out as the king of swords and really stand tall based on my experience. So I am growing. I am developing to move forward towards what I yearn for and desire, which is my divine feminine. What is in the heart space for divine feminine? Queen of swords and giving and receiving. Six of pentacles. See? She's all about balance here in her heart too. She's like, I'm being logical. I am being wise. This doesn't mean she's being cold and detached. She's just like, uh-uh. Giving and receiving, there has to be balance. If I'm going to give, I give from my heart. And I'm not saying like, oh, if I like give you $100, I expect $100 back. But you can't necessarily not take anything, right? Like there has to be this energy of, where it, there's fulfillment on both sides. If one person just takes, 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 and is this energetic drain, right here in the masculine's head space, you just can't do it anymore. It's like sometimes even those friendships that are like, they only call you when they have a bad day, right? And like, and then you never hear from them until they have their next bad day. This is the kind of same thing. It's like, it, things have to be equal. And so she's in this energy of, mm-hmm, 
I am. I have clarity. I am clear in my heart that I need. I want balance with my masculine in giving and receiving. So what's happening in her heart space as related to divine masculine? What's going on in her heart? Three of Wands. This is energy of manifesting an opportunity. Okay, but again, this is this Page of Cups Moon card, which is this energy of I want to manifest this offer. I want to manifest. You know, the sensitivity and these emotions. But you know what? Five of five pentacles, I'm done. I'm done with this being left out. I'm walking away, eight of cups. I'm walking away, and I'm just taking a leap of faith forward right now. I'm just moving on. I'm just going to move on for now. Okay? Two of wands. There is this crossroads that she has been stuck in, that she's just ready to go wild. She's ready to be that sacred, wild woman. And just be passionate again. Okay? But this, because this in and out energy that has surfaced with her masculine just gives her too much stress, too much anxiety, too much stress. Life is too short. Life is too short to be stressed out. Heart space for divine masculine. Look at this solar plexus. All of a sudden, now we get some action energy intuition. He is going to be acting from a place of his higher consciousness and intuition. This is the high priestess card. <clears throat> I also feel like this is divine feminine. He wants to take action towards his divine feminine. So let's see what's happening in his heart space as related to Divine Feminine. <clears throat> so when he feels for her, here she is, with or without you, with or without you. But this potential coming back together, meeting up, he, he's just not, he's burdened. He feels burdened by it because I feel like she sees through his lies. She sees through potential third party cup sharing when he's been in his ego. And so he wants to make an offer and communicate about any trickster energy that she may be picking up, but he is procrastinating. He is very emotional. He's procrastinating against this union. He's procrastinating against meeting her and, and restoring happiness. And so he's just really thinking, analyzing, thinking, analyzing, taking his time towards his high priestess to bring in justice and balance. Okay, but this is what happens. When you take too long, she's out. She's out. She's in the nine of wands energy. She has stuck in there a long time. She's been there for a long time. And so, you know, and time is relative, right? I mean, two months could feel like long to some people. Six years can feel like long. It just, time is time, whatever it is, right? So it's just, she's in this energy of I'm done with my wounds. I'm done being stuck. I'm done being stuck at the crossroads. I'm ready to balance myself out, balance out the connections that are in my life. And I'm done with the in and out Casanova crap. It gives me too much anxiety and stress and fatigue and worry. And Divine Masculine's in this energy where he's seeing this. He's seeing what he's doing. And this is why he's in the Emperor's energy. He's trying to cut through his fears, work on himself to move forward, take action from a place of higher consciousness. But the, par the part where I'm going to call Masculine out is he's taking too long to set things straight because the longer he takes, the more that cunning trickster energy gets ingrained in the system okay what's happening in the environment for divine feminine as related to masculine look at this yin and yang this is that balance darkest fears nine of swords so this is the energy of she's in her own union right king of swords queen of swords she wants to bring balance not only to her life but also to her connections but there are some very very dark fears about whether or not divine masculine is going to be able to step up to the plate or not not. Is he going to shape up or not? Like that Grease song that I posted on my Instagram. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Queen of Light 1111, because I do readings there daily. But back to that song, it was like, you better shape up because I need a man because my heart's set on you. Okay. So you better shape up and look at, I'll give it to him. Emperor, King of Swords, using his intuition, King of Cups, Divine Masculine. He has the energy. He has the energy, but he's got to take action, which Archangel Shamuel is helping him with, okay? So now in her environment, as related to masculine, King of Cups, there's this energy of masculine. She knows that he's in his emotions, but he's at the crossroads, right? But she, she this is what Feminine's saying, King of Fire, Emperor, you've got to take leadership 
accountability and you've got to address this this into this 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 situation head on we've got to complete this painful end that has us defeated right now right this devil energy where our ten of pentacles is stuck we've got to have victory over that but that means you have to meet me as the emperor so we can take this leap of faith from a place of newness and overcome our barriers and build a bridge wow okay well, wow, check her out. Okay, so now, divine masculine's environment as related to feminine. Look at this. Healing and happiness. This is the star card. He's just in this energy of, I'm really trying to heal. I'm trying to heal. I see this rainbow. I see this union. I see it through the door. I have hope. I have hope. He's really walking through this door to heal himself, to bring happiness, to have this star come back into his life. And so now, what is happening in his environment as related to Divine Feminine? Okay. Six of Swords. He knows that they need to get out of this crap energy. They've got to transition out of this juggling, right? Out of this imbalance with Divine Feminine and bring life to this connection. This delay in communication this is what is happening. Three of Wands. It's like he's waiting. He's waiting, King of Pentacles, to bring things back to balance. And here's the Justice card. He knows in his environment, he knows he's got to do right by his Divine Feminine. And that means he must change. And he must take action towards this ego, devil, toxic, karmic, third-party energy and win over it succeed over it and complete it he knows it he knows it because she's not playing this time she's never played but if there's anything about a feminine in union is they're not going to have any kind of low vibration inconsistency she's not going to have it not going to have it so now what's going on with the connection let's look at the theme so what i did for you guys was you know i know you guys like this so i brought it back today what is the masculine's perspective, the feminine's perspective, and then what does spirit have to say about the theme of the connection? Well, look at this. Communication is the theme. Archangel Gabriel is helping again. Where do we get Gabriel? Oh, bottom of the deck for their theme today, right? Archangel Gabriel. Here, here he is. Look, you can't make this up. I just realized it. Gabriel, Gabriel. You guys see the orb? Do you see the orb? Oh, my God. Hi, Archangel Gabriel. Okay, so there is communication that is part of the theme. What is Divine Feminine saying? Yeah, I'm in hermit mode. She's like, I'm in hermit mode. Divine Masculine saying, yes, I've retreated from communication. And we're all aligned because Spirit is saying, yes, there is no communication at this time. So everyone's on the same page. That very rarely happens. But everyone's on the same page that there is no communication between masculine and feminine at this time. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the energies. Okay. First card out. Peace, Rama. This is my 5D card. So there's really this energy of they're working in the 5D. They're working on peace in the 5D. Divine Feminine's perspective is, yeah, I'm holding on to my peace because you're not going to distort me again. I'm holding on to my peace. Divine Masculine is saying this peace is a burden. <laughs> He's trying to find peace in his burdens, okay? And Divine, the Spirit is saying strength. We are gaining strength in the 5D by having this peace, okay? So there's this energy of Divine Feminine saying, I'm holding on to my peace in the 5D. I am not engaging in any effery. Uh, <laughs> Divine Masculine is saying, I am burdened. I don't have peace. And Spirit is saying, you all are gaining strength in the 5D. Okay, now the next card that we have is the theme is intuition. Intuition has been a huge, huge theme today for masculine. We've got it in his headspace, we've got it in his overall energy, we've got it in his heart space, and here it is again. So, what is feminine saying about intuition? She's saying we're off balance, right? Some days we're we know what our intuition is saying, and some days we don't. Some days he's listening to his intuition, and some days he's not. Same with her. Divine Masculine is saying seven of wands. He's put a barrier on his intuition. This is why he's got so many angels working with him. Gabriel, Uriel, Shamuel. Okay, even the higher selves here. 
So because he's really trying to block his intuition. And what is spirit saying? Queen of Pentacles. It's time to ground the intuition. Now, there's this energy of release. This card, Archangel Zadkiel, is all about releasing any negative energies, low vibrational energies, releasing for forgiveness, okay? Um, releasing anger, releasing anything that doesn't serve. So what is feminine saying? She's trying to release the seven of wands energy, this barrier that she has up. All right. Masculine is saying he's trying to release this immature energy of how he communicates. And spirit is saying, yeah, we're trying to release this energy of immature offers of love. Yep. Next theme, no communication. Big surprise, right? No communication. Feminine saying seven of pentacles. I'm fine with the weight. I'm fine with not hearing from him. Fine with it. Masculine is saying king of cups. I'm really in my emotions. I'm trying to master myself in my emotions, king of cups, as, as we don't communicate through the silence. And spirit is saying some part. There's actually lots of success and positivity that is occurring. People are freeing themselves from things through this period of silence. Next card, in and out. This is a stage. This is their in and out. They're in and out, in and out, in and out. That's a four cups crap energy. And so then what does Divine Feminine feel about in and out? She's like, I'm done being in and out. I'm just charging ahead. I'm just charging ahead. Masculine is saying, I'm trying to move forward. Okay? And uh, <laughs> Spirit is saying eight of cups. We're in and out of like walking away. Do we walk away? Do we stay? Do we walk away? Do we? But here's the thing. When we're in and out, We've got to balance this energy because the Eight of Cups is looking for the Two of Cups. The Eight of Cups is all about evolving. Feminine's like, I'm moving forward. Masculine's like, I'm trying to get out into a place of peace. And Spirit's like, you both have to evolve. And then, last card, Kali Ma. When she shows up, this is like, people have to shape up. People need to shape up. Energies need to shape up. She removes negative energies. So what is Kali Ma saying? What does the feminine think that she's she's doing here? Page of Swords. She's removing any delays in communication. And what does masculine say? She's removing my Casanova in and out energy. And what is spirit saying? She's bringing balance to the connection, harmony into the connection. Wow. So now let's drill down deeper into the connection. So, bottom of the deck, nine of swords, seven of swords, and the clover. So what's happening in the connection is there's a lot of stress about deceptive behavior and about, you know, being carefree, be having flings, right? Really not treating this connection as sacred as it deserves to be treated. So there's a lot of stress in this energy of deception, of trickery, okay? of self-sabotage. So now, understanding that this is what the stress is about, what's happening in the connection. First card out, Six of Cups. There is this reunion energy. There is this nostalgia that the King of Cups, Divine Masculine, is now understanding that this Divine Feminine is his sacred love, is his eternal love. Things are suspended in any movement and communication forward at this time because lots of emotions are being purged. There is this offer of a new beginning coming, Ace of Pentacles. We've got that at the bottom of the deck for Divine Masculine. And it is the Six of Cups energy. There's this new beginning towards a reunion. But guess what? Queen of Air or Queen of Swords, Divine Feminine, is like, uh -uh, I'm detaching from any thought about a new beginning. I am independent. I am cool. I am detached. But then that brings in this manifestation energy of the Empress, which is Divine Feminine. Once she detaches, she stands in this power and manifests this new beginning because she's detached. She allows the universe to come in. And then there's this end of the crossroads. People find their way towards each other and there's victory because masculine finally comes in with his words and his expression and his honesty and integrity and brings balance in towards his heart's desire and perhaps even seeks forgiveness. You can't make this up. These all flew out. So now, how is divine masculine experiencing divine feminine at this time and how is 
divine feminine experiencing divine masculine. Well, look at this. Can't make it up. Sanctuary, five of swords. People have retreated to their own private places within their own boundary, within their own, um, you know, homes and their own sanctuaries. They're in their own space because there's been some major defeating energy. There's a major conflict going on. So how is divine feminine experiencing her divine masculine? There's this love. There's huge love. She's fallen in love. But guess what? Uh-uh. Seven of Wands. This is where in this energy, where is that Seven of Wands being removed? Right here. Where she's trying to release this. But here it is. She's blocking her heart. She's guarded about falling in love because three of pentacles. She's learned her lessons. She learned her lessons with this guy. She's like, uh -uh, I'm not falling head over heels. I'm not jumping right in. I've got to protect my peace. I've learned my lesson. What is divine masculine? How is he experiencing his feminine? Independent, determined, free. He's like, she's, she's just like, <laughs> she's queen of wands. She's just asserted her freedom. Page of Swords, she says and does what she thinks, but she still he still sees her Queen of Cups in her heart space. He's like, yeah, she's asserted her freedom. But she's still in her heart. She's still my heart's desire. She's still the Queen of Cups to my King of Cups. So let's close this reading with some advice from Ganesha. What is the advice from Ganesha today? <laughs> for divine masculine and feminine. Well, let's see what's happening. Bottom of the deck is the revelation card. Revelation with the five of swords. I use this to clarify both of those final cards. So when the revelation card comes up, number 15, number six, which is all about harmony. So things have been revealed. This is why there is defeat. There is changes that needed to occur internally and externally. This is why if any karmic third party past present energy has revealed something, it was meant to be revealed. It was meant to be revealed for this ego death to occur, to bring honesty into the situation, to bring positive change into the situation. Because from the Five of Swords, you go into the Six of Swords, which is exactly where we will be headed. I forget, like, we got Six of Swords in here a few times. So now, how is Divine Feminine experiencing masculine? Childlike expression and the Death card. So I do feel like there's this energy of, again, a lot about, like, don't come to me with some page crap. Don't come to me with that. But there is this understanding that she does need to have that there is an inner child energy that is being transformed. And so this is this energy of, you know, being in this energy of loving unconditionally. Right? Love doesn't have boundaries. Love doesn't have expectations. Love is just unconditional. And so when you get into your space, into your heart space again, and you get into this energy, just be truthful and honest and handle this with this newness. But understand that there is a major death happening at this time, a major transformation of the inner child happening at this time for you and for your masculine. Divine masculine's guidance today is acceptance and the lovers this is this energy of the, he's got to accept things as they are this connection is what it is if his ego is telling him that this connection isn't what he thinks it is he needs to start to cut that ego out and say you know what oh my god this is yes this is divine he has to learn how to love without judgment and love without these predetermined opinions of how things were when he was with third parties and karmics or how he was loved in other relationships. He knows that this divine connection expects authenticity. Okay? This is about the ego aligning with the soul. This is this energy of humility and awareness. 
that needs to happen. You've got to see this connection for what it is, not this predetermined opinion of what you thought things were. If he was comparing this connection to any other connection, the time to stop is now. Accept that this is divine. You are divine. Feminine is divine. It is time to accept that. I hope this reading has helped you guys. And if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.